everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here for my first layout with my new scrap room kit, the double shot kit. And I thought it'd be fun. They have this little thing called, let's see, Freaky Fast Friday. And basically what it is, is they give you measurements to cut your papers into just to get you to just get into it. And I thought this would be fun because I know for me, I always have a tough time starting off with a brand new kit making a decision. So I just went ahead and made the measurement cuts and those cuts are, it's supposed to be 1.0. No, it's not, it's 10. Okay, I'm a loser. 10 by 2.5, which is this one right here. Four by 1.5, which is that one right there. Two by four, that one right there. 8.5 by five, this one, two and a half by one and a half, that one, <laughs> and then two six by twos, and that's this one, and I haven't decided if I'm gonna use it like this or like this. I don't know if you're supposed to use like six different or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different, but there weren't actually enough different pattern papers to do seven different, so I would have had to use a cardstock. Not that I have a problem with that, but, oh sorry, one last one is a three and a half inch circle, which I used my Creative Memory Circle Cutter, and then the red one, which is the one that is makes the largest, makes the, the circle cut closest to the opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward, and I will show you what happens now. Okay, so I have to say, pre-cutting those pieces of paper really did help me do a very fast layout, especially considering it's the first layout of a kit, because I had already cut the papers up. I didn't have to dither on whether to break it up or not. So I'm going to be using three photos for this layout, a 4x6, and then two 3x4s, one vertical and one horizontal. And I start off just trying to place my layer, seeing what's going to look good, what looks good to my eye. And I decide that big piece, I'm going to end up making it a vertical piece rather than a horizontal. And right now, I'm just trying to place it the smaller layers. I start off like this, but I decide I don't really like this, and I'm going to go with a more vertical layout rather than what I have right now. So I also start that circle piece up in the left hand corner, but once I start moving towards a more vertical layout, that is just not going to work out. They're too, it's too close to be a separate embellishment area, so instead I'm going to tuck it behind the top left hand of my photo layer block thingy. So I like the way this is looking, so I'm going to go ahead and start to glue this down. Now, when I do this type of a layout where I have lots of layers, what I like to do is just start gluing from the photos down onto each layer that is right below it. So I'll put glue down on just one little section just to keep it glued to the layer just above it. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut away from this because it looks exactly the same as it did before I glued it, except it's all nice and neat. So now I've got this all set. And because of all these right angles we've got going, except for that one circle, I want to add a little bit of less regimented stuff. So I decide to do some mist sprinkles, and I do that in, oh, sugar, uh, Heidi Swap Gold, and then uh, Distress Ink in Salty Ocean. So I had to give that time to dry, and once it's dry, I go ahead and lay a whole bunch of ATG tape down and get my stuff all laid down. Now, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted for my alphas. I wanted to go with a neutral because there's so much color in this layout, so I chose these older Remarks alphas from American Crafts. They have both black and white in the same font, so I thought that was a good idea to go with. Now, I'm going to start embellishing. Before I do, I'm going to write down some lines for the journaling. I am not going to journal right now. This is a layout of uh, photos that were taken when 
My niece and her friend were on vacation, so I don't know things like the name of the beach they were at and specifics and stuff. And right now it is early morning Saturday and she is sleeping. <laughs> so as soon as I get those lines down, I'm going to start embellishing. Now these chipboard pieces are super cute, but they're also on the large side. So they're going to be what I start with. So I have chosen where my embellishment clusters are going to go and I choose that surfboard because heck if you're going to do a layout about paddle boarding you might as well go ahead and use the surfboards when you can. I grab that geotag from Freckled Vaughn that's part of the additional embellishments I added on to this kit along with that some wood veneer in a camera and a star and an arrow. I've got that flare that I had from my embellishment kit alongside that Be Cool chipboard piece at the bottom. I'm going to add extra glue to all of my chipboard pieces. I find in the long run they don't stick on their own as well as to the back of my wood veneer pieces and get all of that done because I really like the way this is looking. I am almost finished here. The last thing I'm going to add is some enamel dots in orange, dark blue, and yellow in each of my embellishment areas. That's it. Simple, quick, absolutely a fun, fun summer page done already. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Please give me a thumbs up if you can. Have a great day, everyone, and bye!